inventory of my stash. Today we're going to be doing primers, concealers, and brighteners. If you missed it, the very first video that I did talks about why I'm doing this and my methodology. As my girlfriend Kristen Kay said in her video, do it in a way that makes sense for you. And so I've broken these down into categories that make sense for me. And if I use up the last in one of those, then I will replace them. Uh, this is not a no-buy. I could buy more, but I think by focusing on categories that make sense to me, then I'm keeping it as simple as I can, but I'm also using it to have awareness of the different categories. So let's jump in. Jump Here's my primers. I'm not doing crazy bad. It gets worse from here. I have three face primers. These two are the ones I love. This is in my backup. This is a current one. And this is one I got in an Ipsy bag, the Dr. Branch Pour No More. And this is very nice, but for the price, I'll definitely be staying with my Monostat. So I only have three face primers. For under eye primers, this Garnier 5 Second Blur I heard really good things about. It's good, but to me, the e.l.f. under eye primer works just as well, or just hydrating really well with my Blistex and this. I will use all of these up though, but I don't think I would repurchase. This Olay Fill and Seal is, I think, close to $20 and would not recommend it. This e.l.f. under eye primer works just as well in the nice little pump. Definitely would recommend this over the other ones. So. I have three under eye primers and three face primers. I have the Milani, which I really like, obviously. I have one that I haven't opened yet. The Too Faced, which is nice. Wet n Wild, which I really like. Urban Decay, which I do not like. They make my eyelids wrinkly. I need to try these out again, and I may well get rid of those too. The Lorac, which is okay. The Eye Heart Stage, which is by Essence, it's very nice. The NYX HD Base, it's nice. These 5-in-1 um, Bare Minerals, what these are good for is putting on so that my eyelids do not crease, uh, my wrinkly old lady lids, and then I still have to put on something else as a primer. And the reason is these don't make the colors pop and they don't make the colors last. They are wonderful though if you want to put it underneath, particularly if you're going to wear a shimmery color, this will help your lids to not wrinkle. This is an eyeshadow primer that I got off of Etsy. This is my paint pot in soft ochre that I really love. The Essence is really nice. This one, unfortunately, is getting old and starting to harden up. It's going to be at the top for me to use up. And the NYX eyeshadow base. I try to use ones that are more open in their containers, so these four will be near the top of the list. I will probably use these as I need to prevent wrinkles. I would say I'm going to put this in my travel case, which is the Essence. And this one, which is the Soft Ochre, and I've had this well over a year. Love it, love it, love it. I am going to be using that in my regular day-to-day -day eye makeup. So I have 16 eye primers. I am counting these items separately from the rest of my concealers and highlighters, and the reason is I may well use these as eyeshadow primers. So I want to have a separate count of these. The e.l.f. I would not repurchase. Must have had a sale and that's why I got two. The Milani, this is just okay. It's not great. The Essence, I quite like it, but I think it works better as an eye primer. Same with this NYX. I don't have a lot of blemishes or things that I need to cover, which is what these are meant for. This is meant as a brightener, but it just doesn't work as well as some of my other highlighters. 
So I will be using this as an eyeshadow base as well. So in the potted concealers, I have seven. So I'm quickly going to walk you through. I don't have a lot of problems with blemishes. So what I use all this for is my under eyes as well as redness around my nose and brightening of my face. So I'll quickly walk you through each product. The e.l.f. HD Concealer, I haven't tried it yet. I'm looking forward to it. The Physician's Formula, I haven't tried it. Looking forward to it. The Garnier, absolutely love this. This is a backup. This one I carry in my purse, use all the time. Swear by this. This L'Oreal is not near as good. It's the same idea as the Garnier. I do not like it anywhere near as well, but I will use it up. This I'm not thrilled with. You know, I'm going to give that one away. I have three of the Rimmel. Love them. Have them in my travel bag, have them in my purse. Really enjoy those. This Revlon is much thicker than the Rimmel. I don't care for it as much, but it's okay. I love these NYC sticks for brightening in the triangle area. They are very thick, but they work really, really well. Two pens that I'm trying to use up. This one's the Flower. This one's the Light Bright from Hard Candy. They are both thick and do brighten. I wouldn't want them under my eyes. I use them in the V um, triangle. They're very, very thick. I would not repurchase. This is an e.l.f. one. Would not repurchase. I have two Revlons. These are really nice for in your purse, uh, for under eye and redness around your nose. This CoverGirl pencil is just okay. I really, really like this hard candy glamouflage. One end a little darker than the other. It goes on really nice. This is a really, really nice um, gives really good coverage, much better in my opinion than these two, the Hard Candy and the Flower. I really like this one and I even like the Physician's Formula much better than the Neutrogena. This is another e.l.f. one, don't care for it, I'm gonna give that away. Two Maybelline Fit Me Concealers, really like those. The LA Girl Pro Conceal, thanks to Leia, I put this into a container. You can also put it into a pump and then you can just dab your finger in and put it onto underneath your eye and it works really well. Much better because you get so much out, you don't have to worry about it, you can leave it in there. I think that that is actually the Tarte Mar Maracuja Concealer, whatever, which is just okay. <laughs> the NYX HD Concealer, I like it. It's actually very nice. I haven't used these enough to know the Maybelline concealers. Glamouflage. Love these. Swear by them. I honestly think that these are not much different than these. Some people can't get the Glamouflage to work for them, so then I would recommend the Maybelline. I think they're pretty close. Um, this might be a little thicker, in my opinion, so I just am very well moisturized and put some oil you know, or Blistex under my eye. This is very nice for at work with the silver tip on the end. This is the CoverGirl. I actually really like that one. Would not repurchase this one, the L'Oreal True Match. It's okay, there's nothing wrong with it, but it's just, I have so many I prefer more. This Jane is very dark, as you can see. I'll have to play with it, but I might get rid of that one. Love, love, love the Sonia Kashuk. That goes on beautifully, it doesn't crease, it's really nice. This LA Colors Concealer, I can't remember who gave me that, I haven't really gotten into it. This is my NYC Brightener, the same one I had over here. I'm gonna keep that one and just see what I think of it. These five Maybelline concealers, I would not repurchase this one, it's much too dark in the color for me, but these two are the pink, which I absolutely love. I have one in my travel bag. And then 
the dark circle, which I absolutely swear by, and I keep this one in my purse. It is a homemade concoction. It came out a little dark, darker than I like. I need to play with it some more, but I actually think it works pretty well for covering the under eye circle, so I might tell you about that eventually if I can get it lighter. But those are my concealers. So I am getting rid of one. Let me count them all up here. 42 of them. I don't know. I think I might need some more. So I have a total of 70 primers and concealers and brighteners. Crazy. I'm going to do a video at the end of this summarizing some of my learnings. Um, I obviously knew I had a lot of makeup, but I had no idea I had a lot of makeup. I mean, this has really been an eye-opener for me. I'm embarrassed and intimidated, and yet I'm glad to be doing this because it's necessary, and I'm learning a lot, and that is what matters for me in life. So thank you for sticking with me through this and all of your support. I appreciate that you're not judgmental and you're helping me get a handle on this. And I'd be interested to know if you're doing anything similar. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I hope you have a fantastic day and we'll talk to you next time. Mm -hmm.